World of Warcraft. I was playing a game called World of Warcraft. It's a world of fantasy and fun. WoW is the best MMO in the world. WoW! World of Warcraft, a game I've been playing on and off for nearly 20 years now. That makes me feel old. The game is ridiculously stacked with legendary characters and extensive lore, from Arthas, Thrall and Jaina, to Malfurion and Illidan. But today I wanted to quickly recreate a character that, to me, stands above the rest. The most powerful wizard of Azeroth, the Gandalf of Warcraft himself, the guardian mage of Karazhan, Medivh, and his great staff, Atiesh. The goal here is to keep things straightforward, but cover all the bases, from modeling to grooming and shading, and then we'll wrap it up into a fully lit and composited shot that takes me right back to those late night Kara 10 man raids during the early days of the Burning Crusade. Ah, the good old days. Medivh has been designed, redesigned, and then redesigned again. I've lost count. From his first appearance in the original Warcraft game, all the way through WoW expansions, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, and even the Warcraft movie. So I think I'm going to kind of mash together an amalgamation of all of his looks, but of course try to keep it true to Warcraft, with the signature massively oversized shoulders and chonky boots. I wait! If you're thinking about creating a character from scratch but don't know where to start and maybe haven't done any 3D before, I highly recommend taking a look at this video sponsor, Skillshare's website. Skillshare offers art courses on everything from basic 3D modeling to character design courses. It's a great way to get your fundamental art skills brushed up with some creative courses like Introduction to Blender to Advanced Effects Simulations. And if you're looking into bringing your first ever character to life, they've got you covered. I've even personally used Skillshare in the past to advance some of my own 3D modeling skills, and I'd highly encourage Dave Reed's class. His 3D Sculpting for Beginners class is a great spot to start and learn more about fun character designs. Skillshare even offers learning paths that essentially bundle up multiple courses with a specific goal in mind. For instance, a course starting out by teaching you how to animate directly in Maya, and then further courses down the line focused on teaching you how to monetize your work as a freelancer or how to potentially land a studio job. The platform can even be used to brush up on soft skills like communication and leadership that are pretty important when navigating the industry. So if you're already an artist looking to take on more responsibility in a leadership role, or a freelancer looking to expand your client pool, or just someone interested in getting started as a character artist, Skillshare might be a good place to start. The first 500 people to use the link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. First off, I grabbed a base human mesh and draped some basic clothes on him in Marvelous Designer. Shirt, pants, hood, cloak, just to get things rolling. Then I hand modeled the fun stuff, the hard surface pieces like those iconic oversized shoulders, belt, boots, and of course, the staff. For that authentic battle-worn look, I jumped into Houdini to simulate some rips at the bottom of the cloak and shirt. After that, it was time to get sculpting and ZBrush, adding those extra little details, folds, wood grain, and metal surfaces to bring Medivh to life. The feathers were generated procedurally in Houdini with some basic curves, I gave them a nice little bend, then scattered them along the base of the shoulders to get that classic Medivh silhouette, and shading them to get a dark, iridescent, raven feather look. I then brought everything into Substance Painter to give it some life with color and texture, building up layers of dust, and dirt, and edge wear, until it felt right. Then back to Maya where I dialed in the materials and began grooming his iconic beard by modeling some basic scalp geometry and placing a few guide curves to loosely dictate the beard's flow. It isn't perfect, but with a little help from density maps and some noise and clump modifiers, I've got something that works, for now. With that, the asset came together all right, and I can move on to setting up the shot. Since I knew I was going to keep things very dark and moody, all I really had to do was place a few stones to mock up some walls and floor, and model a very basic door for the archway. The animation started off with a simple Mixamo preset that was then further tweaked to look like he's dramatically opening the door. Staff in hand, he returns to Karazhan. The cloak was simulated in Houdini using a cloth sim that was pinned and colliding with the animation to give it a natural movement that follows our character. For atmosphere, I generated some simple clouds in Houdini and placed them around the environment. Candle flames were faked using basic geometry with a wave deformer and an expression to get the light intensity to flicker. And the entire shot was basically lit with a giant spotlight coming from beyond the door. Normally I'd start splitting everything up into individual passes and layer them back together, but there's a new expansion out, so I, I don't have time for that. I kicked it off all together and sat and waited and waited and waited for it to render. Eventually it was time to hop into Nuke where I adjusted the colors a bit, wrapped some light around the doorway, added some lens effects, a bit of glow, and some grain, and basically called it a day. Is it perfect? No, far from. And time permitting, there'd be a lot that I'd change, but it scratched that childhood itch, so I'll take it. If you enjoyed this, consider joining our Discord to get some more tips and help with your own 3D work, or you can always support us on Patreon. See you in Azeroth.